Hey everyone and welcome to Astor's Place. I've had some requests from lots of you out there wanting to know what to do with a beautiful chrysanthemum. I absolutely love these flowers. I'm pleased that they're coming back. Here's a really quick and easy little design to do just using four or five chrysanthemums and a few gerberas. Easy, easy, easy designing. I'll show you what you need in a minute. And this is what you need beautiful chrysanthemums. When I was doing my training, this was considered a very small second. They used to be about that big and I absolutely loved working with them. It's an old fashioned flower, but it's a flower that's starting to re-emerge as a wonderful form to design with. And the, there is a little story that goes behind these that way, 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 way back in Chinese history, that this was the flower of the emperor. And the reason it was the flower of the emperor was because the emperor sat in the middle and all of the subjects bowed in to the Emperor. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story? And I think that when they opened the Crystal Palace, there were 30,000 of these grown to grace the entrance way where Queen Victoria and Prince Albert were, uh, walked on their, their passage into the opening of the, the Grand Palace or the Crystal Palace. But anyway, they're lovely, lovely flowers to work with. And today I want to show you how to work with four flowers. So I've got four, I'm going to use four chrysanthemums, I'm going to use four gerberas and I've got a little bit of jasmine here that I want to use because it's all out at the moment here in New Zealand and it's one of my favourite flowers. Okay, to begin, the bowl that I'm using here is a rounded bowl. The reason I wanted to use that with this little wee white flower in here is because that I thought would be a lovely complement. So we've got the green here which is going to be my connector and my harmonizer, and I've got those little flowers there which will come through and help to diffuse the weight of this big round heavy flower. The jasmine will also do the same thing because that's got the little bits of pink that you'll find here in the gerbera and it's also got the white of the little flower there that will reflect through into the chrysanthemum. So if in doubt just look at what you've got and always make sure that a big white flower is diffused. Now because this is just one of those rampantly growing things all I'm going to do with that is just push that into there and I've got another bit that I'm going to bring over the other side. Now as I've pushed that, pulled that off you'll see that it's got a little rough like thick nodgly wee bit there, just cut that off so that that now goes into your foam much quicker and easier. Now I'm just going to put a little bit to the back there and I've got this nice long flowing bit, so I've got a flowing bit there, so I'm going to bring that bit over to there. Right, with these, because they are so delicate in form, what I'm going to do is, I'm and remove that foliage that's going to be beneath there, and if you've got any bits that have got any sort of like yucky bits on it, like that, which looks like it's got some kind of thrip or rust is attacked that take that off right I'm just going to bring that up into there like that I'm going to bring another one down and I'm going to graduate that down into there like that get another one and bring that over and into there a bit lower down and then get this one here you notice I'm slant cutting everything I'm going to push that right down into there so what's actually happening is from the base of the container and I put that chrysanthemum there with nothing underneath it so that the eye runs up there and hits this but it's already being diffused by the little markings in there and then it's a slow gradual step up. Now with these gerberas what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these between the chrysanthemums so I'll put one into there. Now you have to be very careful when you're working with chrysanthemums because they do shatter. Now I could put those two together like that, but the thing, the problem I've got is that they're on the same plain length. So just push that down just a little bit there. I've got another big, and I'm graduating from my small, oops, be careful, my smallest down to my larger down into the base and I'll just push that down and into there and take that as low as I can without, oh be very careful Astor, I don't want to break those. Right, that can just go down into there and then I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to have one into there and I'm going to bring that other one down into there like so. And even though I said I was only going to work with four and four, because I've got one left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down low as well. Look at that. Easy, 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 simple, simple designing. Now when I look at this all over the place, what I would like to do with that is very carefully 
bring that up into the design like so and can I do it with this one here bring that around and just tuck that into there so hope no hold on I'm going to be very careful with this bring that underneath those petals be very careful with those petals because they will shatter bring that into there like that so now I've got this whole thing starting to run up and and making it instead of all over the place and running around rampant like it doesn't know where it's going just bring those into there look at that simple simple designing and when I turn it around here even though I've got that looking there and that there that is okay to do that because flowers grow the way that they do but that would be simple simple little design I wish that wouldn't move away I want that to go up into there but anyway there you go simple simple way of dealing with just three forms. I know that you can do it better, but at least I've shown you how to do your placements. I hope I've been of assistance and I will see you another day. Mm -hmm.